We are parked in the front. What kind of good day is that? And it is like mm, 70 degrees. It's amazing out here. I think we're gonna have a good day. Granted, it is a Thursday, which um, those of you who have watched my full week of bins, so I go every day of the week to see which day is the best, which day is the worst. Thursday was kind of eh. So let's go in and see if Thursday is actually terrible or if we still find good stuff. Let's go. leather bag. Kipling, but it's very dirty. Very dirty Kipling.
a Liz Claiborne, but it's really cute. We should have seen underneath it, but we'll see about that. Your new 2009 World Book Yearbook. 2010. All nylon stockings. Hmm. At one point, these people did not want their world. 2006. This needs like a, a wipe off and a lint rolling, but I think they've kind of cooled off, but I used to really sell those hats for like 50 bucks. It's crazy. We'll see how the parrot or whatever it is is doing. Oh god, one of its eyes is it's done. What is this? It feels very soft. Oh wow. Knitting needles. I mean I assume. 
assume. Oh, maybe not. What that says. It's a different one. Put in the washer, it looks like. It looks like someone donated all of their vintage heels. Oh, 
also looks vintage. It's like a suede. It's not kind of cool. We'll see about this. If I can find the other one. that other shoe and then look up some of the stuff I already pulled, throw it back if I don't want it, and then I will continue on the journey. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, that is what we're keeping so far. We got some clothes. They're putting out some hard good bins. Ooh, what's this? About 10 new hard good bins. So we will go Take a peek at those. This is in bank size large. It's kind of cute though. He doesn't want to be a green giraffe. Leopard, sorry. Leopard giraffe. Oh, I kind of like this. Maybe. Some stuff I just get because of my own personal draw. <laughs> even though it might not be the most um, profitable, but I think we all do that. Everyone who's a reseller does that a little bit. off of this. It looks like no boundaries. What's that say? Young and Reckless. Los Angeles. Um, maybe. I forget how Young and Reckless is doing these days, so let me double check on that one. It is funny how brands fluctuate they go from like popular and selling to dead. There's a new with tags, a Venus sweater in a peach color. 
Venus isn't like super high. This is a 2X. Goodwill is selling it for $7.99. Mm, I'll double check on that. It is kind of heavy, so I'll probably be paying like four bucks. So we'll see. Southern Lady. champion made in Vietnam oh they kind of look like it put them in the cart Looks like they altered it. Uh, I'm gonna leave 
good. What is this? Index? Oh my gosh. It's crazy looking and I love it. Alright, moving on. L.A. Idea. This. Oh, for dinner. Okay, I'm gonna finish going through these and then I will meet you at the new bins. I'll be back. Okay, these are not the new new, but I did put in, look at this cute little cow napkin holder. Um, I figured I'd just go through these and then the new bins are right next to it, so. Vintage Lisa Frank sticker. Is there any more? It's like violently throwing things into the other bin. Just a bunch, but they're all like. Mostly Belgian clock cold toe. Uh, oh, this is what I was looking at. Oh, Mary Kay. Little lipstick. It's pretty bad shape, though.
Uh, the first bin is books. So I'll just go back and just look. those games, I don't know, a month ago, and they've sold, like, really well. Maybe I'll go around. American Songbook. Join the party. CDs, DVDs. goes on. We'll see a uh, more large variety of things. Jeez, another one. That's so many. Need subconscious reprogramming and you just put it on and go to sleep. Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop 2015.
whatever bins they're going to put out next because what's out on the floor right now is kind of meh. Anyways, I'm going to look this stuff up and I'll be back. Okay, I went through some clothing bins, like not new ones, and I did find a quilt, but it was kind of stinky, so I put it back. But we're going to go look at the newest clothing bins that just came out. They're putting out this is a mystery about 10 new hard good bins that so we'll go back there when that is out.
Okay, do it.
to go through those in a moment. I'm gonna sort through these and throw back what I don't want and I'll be back. Okay, I've been waiting for another hard good bin to come out. They just put new clothing bins out, so I'm gonna go through those. Um, I found a few things in the, like, CD, DVD bins. for like really good money and those also went down pretty not far but they definitely went down nice it's like um oh how many inside oh what does the other side look like oh, maybe I'm gonna see what the other side looks like for that Or pottery barn. Mm, Torrid zero zero. So what is that? A medium or large? Maybe a large? Medium. I don't know. Two by Vince Kundo. I think I have the sweater. Oh, 
leather, and it's a good quality. I don't know what brand it is, but I will find out. Hmm. It's a nice leather bag.
clean that up. some of these down. There's probably like 12 pounds of bait on my arm. Um, and then I will keep going. Look at all that. Thank you. 
I'm gonna go back through them one more time, see what I missed, um, and then I'm gonna go through the rest, which it looks like there's about three to four bins of breakables, so I'm gonna do that after I go through another time, so I'll be there. All right, we have a heaper. We have a heaper. <laughs> um, I had to get a second cart to make this a little easier on myself to transfer stuff over. I'm probably not getting all of it. This is like the preliminary throw in here. But let me show you all the things I found today at the bins. I waited for one more row of hard good bins and holy moly, I really like packed it in with that row because it was a lot of purses. So let me show you what I found today at the bins. Okay, Bagelini. I always find bagelinis at the bins, but I'm currently just getting ones that are a little more funky. Um, so I found this one, and this one's in relatively good shape. I need to open it up and see the inside, but we got a bagelini. Next, this is a vintage. I don't even know how to describe it, really. It's like, um... A multi-section bag but it also like folds up I don't know it intrigued me but that one's a question mark next we have a top handle love the world bag I don't know if it's vintage or not but I love the way it looks it is missing its crossbody strap. Oh, come on, you can do it. Anyways, someone threw this back. They didn't want it, but I saw it and I was like, that's beautiful. I'll take it. Okay, next we have a Pendleton scarf. percent virgin wool made in Mauritius um, so it is vintage but not like made in USA vintage um, but I have to double check on Pendleton scarves to see where they're at right now okay look at this vintage sequined bunny adorable Goodwill is trying to sell it for $3.99 I think he's like a bunny with an egg Anyways, he's like no weight whatsoever. So, next we have a longer burger checkbook folder finger merbobber. Do people use checkbooks anymore? I don't know. Um, this one needs a bit of a spot to clean. It's Danica Studio. Wash me, love me. So, yeah, it's 100% cotton, so you should be able to just throw it in the wash and get some of those marks off. But people are all about their crossbody bum bag type stuff these days. So I think that will be a decent one. I'm not sure if I'm getting this. I do already have this one in gray. It is a, I believe, vintage J. Crew. And it has this like funky clasp. The one I have is slow selling. And it is pretty heavy. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna get it. You can kind of see the handles are a little tweaked. But this one does at least come with the crossbody strap, but J. Crew. Um, next, oh, didn't even notice that. Um, I'm not sure if this is vintage, but it is suede and it's American Eagle. I think it is, cause look at the cell phone pocket. It's like uber tiny. So a fringe suede American Eagle bag. Okay, I don't really pick up Relic a lot, if ever. Relic is a subset of Fossil. I don't know, it just sells lower and for not as much, but I like the look of this one. Oh, there's something inside. I touched something. A cough drop. Um, it's like a faux croco top handle bag. Thank you. Okay, next I also have to look up this one. It's Bio World Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, it is fairly new, 2023. 
Uh, it comes with a little keychain, but it just needs a decent wipe off. It doesn't look like it's too terrible, to be honest. Oh, we got a little Prezi in this one, too. Carolyn. Carolyn liked Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, but, um, yeah, I have to look that up. Next, we have this, like, tapestry glitter lucite top handle vintage bag. It is amazing. I really, really love this bag. Someone was trying to sell it for $10 at, like, a garage sale, possibly. But, love it. Love it, want it. Okay, I need to look up this Alexis Bendel. Um, I was kind of wondering if it was a relation to Henry Bendel. Because Henry Bendel, I don't, I don't think, makes bags anymore. Um, oh my gosh, everything is just tangled. The strap's a little... Having a, a hard time. Um... But Henry Bendel had a signature striped um, look. So I kind of wonder if it is a relative of some sort. But anyways, I'll be looking that one up. I'm guessing it is, but who knows. Okay, next I have a Fall Raven. I feel like I'm saying that really wrong. Um, it's very used. And last time I put one of these up on eBay, someone said it was uh, fake and they made me remove the listing. And so I ended up having to sell it at my booth, which it did sell. Um, it sold at my booth, but it was authentic. I don't know, but once eBay flags something as inauthentic, even if it is authentic, you can't put it back up. I had that happen with a coach bag as well. It was 100% authentic and they flagged it, but they wouldn't. So I have to sell that on Poshmark or Mercari which is kind of a pain to be honest. Okay, next we have a leather compact travel-on bag with a baby blue interior. Relatively clean. Okay, I need to look up Isaac Mizrahi. I know the brand in general. Oh, it looks like the crossbody's in there, but I just wanted to look up to see how his bags were doing. Um, I like the look of it and it's very compact but I'm gonna double check on him. Okay, next, I'm not sure about this brand, Emile. Emile, I don't know what that says. Um, it is a leather. Oh, the inside says, Emil Legalanti. <laughs> well, there you have it. Um, leather and then like a whip stitch of sorts kind of accent. I don't pick up a lot of Vera Bradley, but this one is a vintage one. Vintage Vera Bradley. It has a little corner wear there, but some of the vintage ones can do really well. So I'm gonna look up the pattern and double check to see if this is one of them. We have a Dooney and Burke daffodil pattern bag. What did I, sometimes it just really surprises me what people do with their bags. That's just, eesh. Um, It is pretty worn, so I'd probably sell it pretty darn cheap, to be honest, but we'll look it up and see. It looks like, I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to be, or if they rigged it like that? I don't know. Anyways, we have a Daffodil Dooney and Burke. Um, this one was funky as well. Sash? It's like a really thin crossbody vintage bag. I don't know. Some of this weird stuff sells. I don't know what to tell you. Um, okay, we found this, oh jeez, Bird Art Cardinals. It does have like a pretty deep scratch right there. Other than that, it's not too bad. 
but I may put it in my booth. It's surprisingly not super heavy, but there we go. Okay, next we have a Lily Pulitzer um, for Pottery Barn pillow, throw pillow. I was hoping I could find another one, but I couldn't. I could only find one, um, but it's actually pretty clean for being in the bins. Oh, we have a googly eye. Um, okay, let's keep going with bags. We have a sack crossbody bag. It has a little nasties in it. And just like this little mark here, which I I hate when it's on the suede because it makes it harder to get out. Um, but if I can get that out and work on a little bit of the inside, it's not so bad. So I'll double check with that one. Double check if I really want it. Okay, I found this wallet. So cool. I don't know the brand on it. I didn't really look, I guess. And I don't even think it has one. It's just a little mini compact wallet. Um, okay, we have a little pouch that is the Vintage Cosmetic Company. It has a little stain of sorts but it is really cute. It's really poofy. Um, okay, we have a Banana Republic bag. Okay, so these snap down here. Banana Republic bags are actually super good quality. They really are. So I do not sell them pretty cheap. I usually, I am someone who posts things high, higher than normal postings of other people. Um, and it tends to go okay for me. So um, if something is valuable, I wanna make sure, oh my God, I burned a hole right in it. Um, so I'll probably be putting this one back, but it is a V Mikowski. It is a nice design if the inside wasn't struggling for dear life. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be putting that one back, being that it looks like they melted something inside. Um, we have a Safiano Leather Kate Spade bag. It's kind of tarnished, the little turn lock part. A few interior dirty spots. There was another Kate Spade, but the last part on the top was broken but anyways a purple plum color Kate Spade this one is a nice bag I couldn't really find a ton on it the zipper says peace love peace and love but it's a really nice quality leather bag so I'm probably gonna get that one okay we'll do clothes in a second Next, a Gianni Bini, Bernini, um, kind of top handle bowling bag. I like the look of it. It just needs to be squished back into submission, and it should be good to go. Um, we have a really Y2K looking Kathy Van Zeeland with a faux croco, yellow croco looking accent to it but we got to that we have a skull skull animals um i looked this up and these are insane oh a free ketchup packet amazing <laughs> um these do very well i think there is a following for this skeleton animal thing so definitely getting that uh, next we have a Rebecca Minkoff, very nice top handle tote bag, and just turn lock it, and it's studded and pretty. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm getting this B. Mikowski, it's kind of plain and boring, um, but I'll double check and see before I throw it back. And then inside was this little Russian doll, and there's like four in there, and I just love Russian dolls, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, next we have a Laurel Birch, her signature kind of looking 
bag with horses and metallic -y looking print. We have this tiny little Mr. Potato Head card holder. A eel skin tan wallet. A little funk on it. Um, okay, and for bags, I think this is it. A uh, Perlina multi-compartment bag in like a super soft leather and there you can see it's the old cell phone but it's a very fun compact looking bag all right let's see what else we found today oh i have another bag an esprit um woven velcro which you can't use that term on uh the ebay's you have to say hook and the loop i believe Anyways, I think this one might be vintage, but I'll double check. Okay. I think that is it for the bags. All right, let's go through everything else. Next, we have a King Goli Made in England hat. I don't think I'm getting this. It sells for around 15-ish, so I'll probably be putting that back, but still for how much it would cost, which is probably 50 cents. You could definitely make some money on it, but I personally am going to throw that one back. Next, we have a Shannon Marie Made in Hawaii size extra large. Shall I keep this? Dress. So we have that. We found another Lily Pulitzer dress size 10. Or tunic, maybe? Maybe tunic. Or a dress, you know, whatever anyone wants. Whatever you want. Okay, next we have an Ann Taylor Loft size six. I think this is a dress. Nope, a long shirt. I don't know. I'm gonna stop guessing now. Um, tie neck, really, really pretty. Ann Taylor tends to sell well, or sell through relatively well, so I usually pick it up. Next we have a Cupcakes and Cashmere, size medium heart sweater. Very cute. We have a Disney reversible princess jacket, kids. I don't pick up a lot of kids, but that's cool. Okay, next I think it's a um, tablecloth maybe? Anyways, it's very funky colored, and it is El Rosario Textiles. I just think it's really super pretty, so I threw it in here. Um, next we have a vintage Mickey Disney sheet. However, the elastic is shot, so it would have to be more this used for art projects or projects needing material that you want vintage material for so I'm not sure if I'm getting that yet but I'll look it up and see what it's going for next we have I believe this is Kenneth Cole it is a medium dress and it's just a really fun vacationy flowy it's just really pretty I don't know if I've ever really picked up Kenneth Cole clothing before Okay, next we have Irish Linen, Edward Woman, size 3X, 100% Irish Linen. Okay, so this was at Marshall's, then it was at Thread Up, and then it was at Goodwill, and now it's at the bins. So this thing has gotten around, and now I have it. So will I be the one to actually sell? Sell the sucker. <laughs> okay, BCBG Paris dress in a floral. I think it's an extra large, which is nice. Really pretty dress. Um, a Christopher and Banks large green and white giraffe print sweater cardigan. Um, I might just put these in part of a sticker lot or in part of my Lisa Frank stuff that I'm selling. That vintage is Frank, it'll get you. Um, next, a little cow napkin holder. It's just cute. It's just adorable. 
Okay, we have a vintage sweater from Index made in Korea. And it's like a knit sweater with a leather accent. It is strange. It is strange, but I like it. I like the strange. Okay, next we have a vintage pair of Champion. Size large. Mm, they might smell. I'm gonna do a smell test on those, and if they smell, I'm not getting them. I know you can wash things, but I just, I can't with the smells. Okay, next we have a Gurin Brothers uh, Perico. Some Gurin Brothers hats can go ridiculous prices, so make sure to look those up. A uh, Vintage Friends hat, and there is some, like, markings. Uh, but this was made in Dominican Republic. Next, another Vera Bradley. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a little wristlet, but it's a cute Scotty dog print, and I'm just gonna throw that in the wash too. Um, we have another tapestry little mini kiss lock bag. It looks like someone maybe tried to make it into a shoulder bag. Um, but yeah, I think it's mostly just a clutch. All right, we have a pair of Morgan Taylor vintage green with a little palm on its heels. We have a cruel little farmstead with a tapestry or fabric background. Um, a mini mouse bag. I'm gonna double check on this one. It looks like it's a little peely. Um, so I'll double check on that, but in general, it's very cute. Uh, this is just for a friend. It's a skirt. Next, we have a young and reckless sweater size extra large. Uh, these do okay. Maybe like 15-ish. Um, we have a, I think this is Sag Harbor, but it's a super cute dress, and it's a size 12 tall. I did, I think, sell another funky pattern Sag Harbor for like 40, so if you can find some like decent pattern ones, you can really make some money. Okay, this is just a Liz Claiborne. I just like the look of it. Top handle. It has a little red thingy here, but that can be easily fixed. Uh, we have an anthropology size medium. And it has like a very subtle print you can kind of see. Anyways, we got that. We have a Territory Ahead men's jacket. 40 regular, made in Portugal. I think there was a mark on it. I'll double check, but these look to go for around 30. So we got that. Next we have a very over, not oversized, because this is extra large, but a very comfy slub, schlub Nike sweater in gray. I don't pick up a lot of Nike, but we're gonna get that one. I found this little bubblehead girl. It was only $6.99 at World Market, but I kind of love her. Um, we have... Oh, let me get these. Five... One, two, three, four, five books of Thornton Burgess um, bedtime stories. And these ones are the older ones from 1964. And it looks like if you lot these up, you can get a really decent price for them. So I'm going to get those. I don't know what this is. I was just intrigued. Anywho, we got that. Um, we have some cat cards, because why not? I think I might just use those for myself. A 
Killer Cuts Nintendo. I need to take it out and look at the CD to see if it's like scratched or anything, but these look to do really well if you have the case and the CD. And last we have a set. I don't know, I think it's a bathroom set maybe, but there's this and then this is a little box with a lid. Anyways, this will be breakable price. So this will be 79 cents a pound. So maybe like $1.50 on that. Okay, we did it. I was really trying to get through fast. <laughs> all right, thank you all for coming. I wasn't expecting that we were gonna find as much as we did. Um, and if I wouldn't have stayed until that last bin, I probably wouldn't have found as much as I did, but we found a lot, a ton. So now I have some stuff to look up, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm taking off. I might go to my storage unit and... <laughs> I might go to my storage unit and clean a little bit out, take some home to post on eBay because I need to start getting that done um, because that needs to be over with. The price is too high. Anyways, this video is much too long. If you could give this video a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. It helps so much. And I will see you on another round of us at the bins, digging around, looking for treasures that we can post online to make money. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.